All right, guys, we have the car painted and man, it turned out so good. guys we have the car painted and man it turned out so good uh, it's on the other side of me right now uh, it's been a few days since we painted it I wanted to wait uh, a little bit and you know Christmas being around um, so before we get into this actually uh, for all of those who celebrate Christmas Merry Christmas um, I hope you guys had an absolutely wonderful time with the family if you don't celebrate Christmas Whatever you guys did, just take the day off of work or just have a good weekend, spend time with family. Whatever it was you did, I hope you had a great time. Um, but we have the inside of the engine bay completely painted now. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work in the past few days. So I hope you guys stick around to the end of the video uh, so we can go over not only the paint, but some of the other things that we're going to be uh, getting into in the next couple of weeks. And... The footage that you're going to see of the paint is from uh, just the process of um, the day that we were painting the car and, and, and kind of what we did and we'll talk about, um, well you'll hear about it in that footage. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's on the other side of me right now. Uh, it's been a few days since we painted it. I wanted to wait uh, a little bit and you know Christmas being around. Um, so before we get into this actually. Uh, for all of those who celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys had an absolutely wonderful time with the family. If you don't celebrate Christmas, whatever you guys did, just take the day off of work or just have a good weekend, spend time with family. Whatever it was you did, I hope you had a great time. Um, but we have the inside of the engine bay completely painted now. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work in the past few days. So I hope you guys stick around to the end of the video. Uh, so we can go over not only the paint, but some of the other things that we're going to be uh, getting into in the next couple of weeks. And the footage that you're going to see of the paint is from uh, just the process of um, the day that we were painting the car and, and, and kind of what we did. And we'll talk about, um, well, you'll hear about it in that footage. So I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, I think today is the day. It's beautiful outside. It's about 70, 65 degrees. I'm ready to get some paint on this thing. We have all of our supplies here, but first things first, we need to get this uh, paper. It's like a Scotch Bright, 400 grit. Get everything wiped down here, and then we'll follow it up with the wax and grease remover. And we'll be using some shop friendly microfiber cloths, and then we'll get everything tacked down. Uh, with the surgical blue tack rags um, and somewhere in between there we're gonna get everything taped off now with using this you don't have to be really uh, too careful here it's very flexible so you can get into all the corners you're really just wanting to knock down the surface give it a little bit of uh, 400 grit texture so that the paint has something to adhere to and at the same time you're making this really smooth so that you're not having any little uh, raised areas from the primer that might have collected a little bit of junk or dirt. So we're going to go over the whole entire engine bay uh, with the 400 grit scotch bright looking thing. I did get it from the body shop so it's not scotch bright. Uh, this is what they told me to use. Uh, so we're going to get everything that you see in the primer gray uh, knocked down with this guy here and then we'll start getting everything cleaned off and taped off. So we are completely sanded off and we blew it with the air hose. Now it's time, uh, at least this is the order that I'm gonna do it in. 
We have the uh, wax and grease remover. Now you can use Windex, that's not a problem. You could even use paper towels, but it's gonna leave little fibers all over the place. So I got a set of uh, shop friendly, uh, it's the Extreme Towel brand, and it's the the people at the paint shop said that this first time that they're using this one, let's see here, it even says excellent auto body products. So this, or Excel. So these towels must excel at what they do. Anyway, they said that they used some in the shop and tested it and let it pass through everybody's hands for like a week. They pulled on it, stretched on it, and not one little piece of fiber came off. So I should be uh, pretty good with these. I'm gonna put on a set of gloves, wipe everything down with the wax and grease remover before we tape everything off just so that after I put the tape on, I'm not getting the tape wet. So that's the way that I'm gonna do it and uh, follow up right now with wiping everything down and then we'll get started on taping. At least that's how I see it should be done. That way it can dry off. And then after it's taped, we'll wipe everything down with the tap, uh, tack, tack rag and get started on shooting the paint. And you guys get to see what color it is. The rag is completely soaking wet. But this stuff does evaporate. Still a little bit wet right there. But the majority of it is already, it's a little still wet right there. But it's already starting to evaporate back in. You can see that line starting to dry up. So this stuff dries really, really quick. I'm gonna wipe everything down multiple times until the rag starts to come clean. You can see it's still collecting a little bit of the, the dust, even though I blew it off with the air hose. The air hose is not going to be enough. Uh, so I'm gonna wipe this down and keep doing it until the rag is completely clean all the way around the car, and then we'll get everything taped off. Okay, so we're on our second rag now. Uh, I started on the passenger side, and the rag was obviously more wet at that point. So I think this time on the second rag, we're gonna start on the driver's side and work our way over to the passenger side just to ensure both sides had equal opportunity to uh, get a fresh uh, rag with the wax and grease remover and uh, the driver's side gets the chance to have it uh, fully soaked and from a clean, uh, fresh standpoint. So we're still in the middle of taping, but I wanted to stop real quick. I've got this side pretty much masked off. Um, let's see if I get you a shot under here. That'll be plenty. Just mask the bottom of the frame rail because I painted that with the that hard uh, hot rod satin black. And the same with the bar here and the front bumper brace um, crash supports. But before I tape this side, I wanted to show you guys, I've taped off absolutely everything that I could possibly find that would leak the the, pay, the body color paint into the area in the black here. All right, we're all taped off. Uh, it's a little windy, so we'll, we'll probably be fighting the wind a little bit, uh, but the forecast is calling for rain for the entire next week, and I have no time but the present to get this done. So we have our tack rag open and a fresh set of gloves on. Uh, as previously, everything has been blown off. Uh, sanded, blown off, and then wiped down with the wax and grease remover. So now the final step is the tack rag. I'm going to go ahead and get that done quick, and then we're going to show you the paint and get started on that. So we're going to be using a spray can. Um, this is Spray Max Fill Can, uh, or Fill Clean, and it is from the paint supply. You can see here, we are going to be doing it. Let's see if I get this to zoom in. Oxford white uh, Apparently there's a lot of Oxford whites. So I had them look up a 93 Mustang Oxford white color uh, This car was originally Oxford white So I want to go back to it and plus that was the color of my first Mustang. So um, pretty cool story with this is the color code is yo like yo what's up so it's yo oxford white and this can does have a catalyst um, i have spent probably two to three minutes shaking this already all kinds of different ways um, now it's time to lay down the car and see what we got
So I'm not gonna lay it down too thick the first time. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this can out and then I'll keep going uh, with flash times and stuff and, and we'll catch back up after we get the whole car done. Well, the whole engine bay. All right, well, we are here standing next to the car. I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm sure you guys are really excited to see uh, how this thing turned out. I, you can see I have a smile. I'm grinning from ear to ear. Uh, it, it just beyond my expectations and I am very proud of what I did. Um, I can't believe I did this. Um, I'm gonna show you what we did and we got a couple of things that we need to talk about. Um, so I'm gonna flip you around now without further ado. This is the result of all that hard work. I'm so excited. So as you can see, everything in here is fully dry. Um, and I am just beyond stoked at the way that this all turned out. I could not be any happier. So uh, moving along up here, we got the paint in this area uh, where it meets the, the cowl, the top, the uh, flat surface of the cowl. I did not paint this area yet. Uh, we did paint down into here and of course all along where the fender will get bolted but we still have to bolt up a lot of stuff here you know the fenders and the doors and and whatnot uh, to get all the body lines right and then we'll shoot the whole car over at one time we'll tape off everything we've already done but for right now we're ready to get the suspension back in and get the car back down on the ground so we are working on that you can see Today, we got the SVE uh, caster camber plates in. I put this one in. I haven't done that one, but man, they look good. They look so good. Look at that. I mean, that the black against the white. And then for those who have seen uh, the, the rest of the videos, it's getting a little bit dusty sitting in here in the garage. It's gotta be cleaned up. I promise that thing is freshly painted it just looks so dusty right now from all the work we've been doing in here so that's black and uh, machine finished and this is black and machine finished so what's going on under the hood here is going to be a clean oxford white factory color with black and machine finished uh, accents and I think I have an MSD distributor with a red cap. I might try to get a black one, but there could overall be, um, you know, some red accents here or there if need be. I'm going to avoid that if I can, but then look at this. We got doors, right? We've got these doors, the ones that came on the car, but these doors are a manual crank window. So, we finally found the manual doors. There's the other one over there. And these are in really, really good shape. Uh, let's see if I can show you. You see where this is all rotted out right here? Where the run channel goes? These are perfect, guys. These are perfect. There's no rot on these doors at all. And I took about a three and a half, four hour round trip to get those. So it, they did not come easy, but they were a good deal. And the guy actually got them extra with his car. So uh, plans for those are coming up in the next few videos. Hopefully uh, 
the suspension definitely we already started working on that and got the caster camber plates but as far as the suspension goes you can see all the way over here i've been starting to clean this up guys we're going to temporarily have to use the stock uh, factory k member because i just don't have uh, the funds right now to put the tubular k member in and besides that they're like hit or miss i've got all the parts over here uh, ready to uh, reassemble i gotta clean up the spindles and the calipers may end up going with some like power stop um, z stop whatever cross drilled slaughter rotors we're going to reuse the uh, coilovers that came on the car and then i took off the brake shields we'll put some new ones of those on because when i took the k-member out of the car those got trashed but we are at the point. Suspension's going back in. We should be able to put the car back on its wheels on the front, and then it'll be a roller again. Hey, I wanna thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, I hope it was a good payoff. I hope that um, it was worth it. Um, it's worth it for me. I, I cannot tell you exactly how stoked I am, how excited I am. Um, it was a messy, messy job. And I mean, this thing was disgusting. And to, and I have my pictures and I might put a few up in here, but from what it was to what it is now, holy cow. I mean, I, I just can't, I can't, I still can't believe it really. I mean, it's been four months or so, uh, four and a half, five months since I started the channel. And it was a running, driving, vehicle and we just blew it apart and it had so much work ahead of it but this gives me motivation like this gives me a lot of motivation the fact that i can do this i, I i'm really feeling a little bit more comfortable now so i hope this i hope this was really worth it for you guys i hope you guys are excited as i am we have so much going on here right now um with the parts that we got and getting the front suspension back together, that's gonna be another big step forward, right? Getting this thing back on all four wheels. So I don't know what else to say. I, I'm, I'm ready to keep pushing forward. I'm excited, I'm motivated. We're gonna try and get the next video out here in just a few more days. I'm working on right now getting uh, that K-member cleaned up and uh, decreased like purple power, awesome, whatever, and then a wipe down and we'll, we'll spray it black probably for now, temporarily, just to make it look nice and get the ball rolling uh, to finish the rest of the car um, getting built. And maybe at some point down the road, uh, when I can allocate those funds to the suspension and I don't have to purchase a million other things for the, for the car, we'll go ahead and swap out the K-member at that time. And it'll make more content for later on. I'm not a, I'm not opposed to that. So I'm just excited to get this thing <laughs> going and going. Um, if you can't tell. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, we got a lot going on and a lot more to come. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.